I think that uh, the yeah the purpose of an avatar is usually to create a little bit of distance between you and the player, um, and the um, the idea of having a an an action hero that you aspire to I think is a it's a pretty common storytelling technique, um, and and so that that's the reason. From from my perspective, I actually think games are usually better when it's first person. I, I like the idea that I don't have to imagine somebody else in between me and the controls. Um, but it's also a very odd experience because really you're playing a person um, and it becomes more apparent the the more you play games is you're playing a person with no peripheral vision. So you know you have to you know, you're like this. You're playing a person with no sense of smell. Uh, you're playing a person who doesn't have any kind of emotion at all. So if you're playing a, a shooter game, when, when was the last time you played a shooter game where your avatar or the player was visibly afraid? Well, I mean, that happens all the time in, in real life, I assume. Happily, I've never been under gunfire, but I'm pretty sure that it will be brown trouser time afterwards. And the, uh, you, we, we haven't modeled any of those human interaction, so a lot of the time you end up feeling you're sort of playing a robot. Um, and I think that only takes you so far. And I, I think that probably the next step for games is to imbue avatars as well as a player from a first person with a little bit more emotional engagement and a little bit more humanity.